Dear Father, thank you for your grace that has made me one of your dearly loved children. Grace leads to love. By your grace, make knowing, loving, and obeying you my highest priority. Well, the, the prayer covenant first became part of my life in the summer of 1967, uh, when a business leader said to me, Jerry, Second Chronicles 15, 12 says they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, the God of their fathers, with all their heart and all their soul. And he looked at me, stuck his chin out, and he said, do you want to follow Jesus that way? Are, are, are you committed to entering into a covenant with me? Are you willing to give your life to him at the beginning of every day for a month? Uh, and then pray for me that he'll be the Lord of my life. And if you do, I will pray for you that Jesus will be the Lord of your life. I've been in thousands of prayer covenants since 1967. Uh, I have seen lives transformed, marriages transformed, families changed, congregations uh, significantly impacted. I knew I had to put this into writing because I can't talk to everybody. <laughs> I want to talk to everybody. I, I want to talk to every earnest Christian, every person who knows Jesus Christ. I want to help them deepen their relationship with the Lord so that they become contagious, so they become uh, adventuresome, uh, dynamic, alive in Christ. I believe the prayer covenant leads a person into the adventure of a lifetime. The prayer covenant has transformed my life, but I can also say it is transforming my life because I pray it at the beginning of every day and I linger over one or more of the lines of the prayer and I realize it brings me into the presence of God. And so, uh, what happened, it literally changed my ministry as well as my life. It changed my relationships to my family, to my congregation, to my Lord, uh, and to my covenant brothers. The, the, the most thrilling thing for me is the way it touches individual lives. The prayer covenant is moving from one person to another person, from one small group to another small group. We want them to experience the power of what praying that prayer does in their own life. I, I realize, <laughs> being my age, I've only got so many years left. And, and my elder son said to me, Dad, this is the time you need to be writing because your message needs to get out to the nation. And uh, I'm so thankful that Stephen Iyer and I have had the privilege of writing it together. And so it was, it was my desire to be able to get this prayer uh, available to uh, every earnest believer in the body of Christ across America and frankly across the world. I, I knew I had to write because uh, this, this message, this prayer, is uh, it unleashes people. It sets them free from the limitations they have put on their lives for so long. Dear Father, wash me clean from every sin. Enable me to praise you O oh Lord, with all my heart. Jesus, be Lord of my life today in new ways and change me any way you want. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Make me an instrument of your grace.
truth, forgiveness, righteousness, and justice. Use me today for your glory and to invite others to follow Jesus Christ as Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus.